Hi everyone, Dimple here again welcoming you all to today's session on Android Framework Components. Today we will see the power of apt tool in Android. So let's get started. What is this apt? Apt stands for Android Asset Packaging Tool. It's nothing but it's a default tool of the Android SDK to pack all the classes and resources in an APK file. So this apt tool will be part of your Android SDK. What's the responsibility of the tool? It uh, actually packs all the classes, resources in an APK file. APK file is nothing but Android application package. Using this APK, we install the apps on on our device so if we install this apk on our device it will become an application when whenever we write an android application we use multiple things right we use multiple activities we use services we use broadcast receivers and if we have any uh, raw folders like audio file media file or any images to be added in our application we uh, consider all this under resources file and when we have the different values different titles so to be supported we have values folders strings folders to support different languages we have uh, for each specific language one one folder we have gradle information we have uh, sdk related information the apis related information and the permissions what all permissions my particular application has all that is defined under manifest.xml and the layout how my application layout should look like all those things are under resources right so the responsibility of this apt tool is to combine all of them compile all of the resources and put it in a single package called apk so it's easy for us to install a particular application I hope it's clear by what is meant by apt. So apt is again a built tool that Android Studio and Android Gradle plugin use to compile and packages your apps resources. So by default, it will be part of your Android Gradle plugin. But if you want to uh, use your own higher version or if you want to use your own build system over Android Studio, then you can use apt from the command line. So Android Asset Packaging Tool supports faster compilation of resources by enabling incremental compilation. So how it works, we are seeing. We saw what is apt. It's just combining all the resources, all the XML files, all the uh, files we basically use in our app into one package called apk okay this is accomplished by breaking a resource processing into two steps it's very fast how it is fast because it's breaking the resource processing the entire process it's breaking into two steps one is compile and one is link so compile what we can do compiles resource files into binary format so all the data it will take and it will first convert it into binary format then it will link under link what it will do it will merge all the compiled files and package them to a single package so whatever files we write in android studio it will first break it into binary format then in the second step it will combine all these files into a single package this will basically improve the performance Uh, let me show you all with an example again how this app works. So here is the resource file. Okay, all the resources are particular uh, app resources are placed in this resources tray. And um, we have uh, XML files, we have manifest files, only two types of files have included. So all the resources you can consider to be in this particular tray. So apt tool will take all your application resource files such as the manifest files xml files for your activities it will compile them what apt will do apt will compile all this into the binary format so this is my apt tool and all these resource files apt is compiling all these resource files are compiled by apt this is great tool which helps you to view create and update your apks as well as uh, zip or jar files so all your apks will be 
updated created by this apt tool not only apk sometimes there will be zip folders and sometimes the libraries external libraries you include in the form of jar files right so those jar files are also uh, created and uh, compiled or updated by this apt tool so this was a small uh, uh, flow chart i wanted to show you all all the resources will be there in this particular basket what this apt tool will do it will compile all these resources into binary format and it will merge all the packages it will create apk it can create zip file it can create a jar file jar is nothing but the external libraries we basically use in our application it can also compile resources into binary assets so uh, to summarize this apt tool is like a base built for the android application without this app tool i cannot create my android application so i will tell you where this app tool will be present uh, basically if you go to this app data location in under android sdk and you have to go to build tools so inside my build tools i can see different versions these are the versions of the android sdk so whichever version you click in right now i'm clicking on the latest version so if i click on the latest version again i can see here the apt tool so basically you have to go under the sdk build tools under build tool select any one particular version there you can see apt so if you want to run any commands you can just go here open your command prompt start executing the apt tool a few apt commands i just wanted to explain is uh, first apt package apt add so as i told you all you can go to this particular uh, folder open command prompt from here and you can execute these commands so if you want to build any apk at that time you can just use this uh, standard command apt package apt add so this command helps in building the apk so if you want to dump any information from apk that time you can use apt dump uh, in my next video what i'll be doing is i'll be showing you a, a live live demo of this how this uh, apt command works using the command prompt i'll connect my device and i'll show you all uh, for now just remember these are the few commands we use when it comes to apt if you are building any apk we use this command and if you want to dump any apk that means if you want to extract the information from the apk that time we use this command uh, this is an external uh, version of this dump command itself if we want to read the version of our particular application we have to use this apt dump badging followed by the apk name if we want to check all the permissions which we are using in our particular application we have to use app dumped permission apk followed by apk name this part i will show you all in my next video uh, we'll debug and see what are the different information present in this particular apt tool how we can debug uh, how we can extract data from an apk we will see that in the next video so with that we come to end of today's session today's question will be what does apt stands for very easy question apt stands for android asset packaging tool it is the tool which is very very uh, important very much required to create an application to create an apk so i hope this was informative and helpful i hope you all understood the importance the power of apt tool in android gradle i'll see you all in my next session with a live demo until then everyone take care bye thank you